All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the University of Toledo virtual college session. Uh, just a few reminders before we get started. If you have any questions that you would like to ask to the presenters, please use the Q&A button uh, as part of the Zoom feature because your camera and your microphone are both off. The presenters are not able to see or hear you. If you'd like to sign up for additional sessions, please do so at oacac.org. It's the same website where you signed up for today. And as a reminder, a recording, for, uh, a recording of today's session will be available about a week after the session is complete, so about one week from today. So with that, I'll turn it over to our facilitators and uh, have a good evening. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome to our University of Toledo admissions presentation. Um, we'll do some introductions before we jump in. My name is Ryan Chernick. I am one of the senior admissions counselors here at the university. I recruit the eastern side of Ohio as well as Pennsylvania and a couple other non-local states. And I also have one of my wonderful colleagues here, Jasmine, with me as well. Hi everyone, I'm Jasmine Fedrick. I recruit the Metro Detroit area as well as Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I have several Toledo schools. Um, so I'm really, really excited that you all have showed up today. And uh, we're just gonna dive into the presentation and ask questions in the chat and I'll be able to help you out. Yeah, awesome. So let's go ahead and just get started. So first things first, uh, obviously this is different than a regular college fair now that we are all virtual, but we wanted to keep one of the fun aspects and that is getting your information. So usually at a college fair, you would fill out one of those little cards when you get your, your phone number and your email address and, and what major you want to go into. We can't do that right now because we're here in this video chat, but what we have replaced it with is this QR code. So if you're interested in the University of Toledo, you want to know more, you want to stay in touch, learn about our majors and programs and our wonderful campus, please, please take a picture of that right now or go to the URL so we can stay in touch, we can stay connected, and you can learn more about the University of Toledo. Like Jasmine said, she is watching the chat and the Q&A, so please feel free to ask questions in there, um, and she can answer them privately or we can pose them to the whole group. But with that being said, let's jump into the basics. So the University of Toledo is one of the public institutions here in the state of Ohio. We're what you consider a mid-major as far as size goes, so just about 16,000 undergrad graduate students, about 4,000 more in their master's, doctorate, professional programs. So our total enrollment comes out just about 20,000 people. Now that is by no means a small college, right? That's not a small school, but it's also not the biggest school. We're not quite as big as an Ohio State or a Penn State. So we're what you call a mid-major right there in the middle size. And it's great because you get some of those bigger school experiences. You get the big, beautiful campus, the larger research opportunities, the energy of a university like the University of Toledo. But when it comes to your actual education, that's where it starts to get a little smaller, a little more intimate. Uh, the average class size here at University of Toledo is just around 30 people. The student professor ratio is just about 20 to one. So for every 20 students, you have one full-time faculty or staff member. Um, last year alone, 80% of my freshmen's classes were taught by full-time faculty. So even in their first year, their first semester, already working with and getting to know the faculty here on campus. And that's great. It's great to build those kinds of relationships because your faculty are who you're going to work with for those four years, building your skills, getting your education here at Toledo. They're the folks who will ask you to do research with them and sign off on your independent studies and eventually be your letters of recommendation. So it's great to have that kind of access to the staff, the faculty, the researchers here at Toledo. But again, still having that bigger school experience. Uh, we historically were known a little more as a regional campus, especially more than 30 years ago, much more of the, the greater Toledo area, southern Michigan. If you came from Cleveland or Columbus, you were considered a, a faraway student. But nowadays, we've really expanded. I mean, we cover students from all across the country, all across the world. People choose to come to the University of Toledo here in Lucas County in Toledo, Ohio. So that kind of shows you exactly the kind of quality education that we can offer, that folks choose to come here from Spain, they come here from China and Portugal and Ireland and, and Japan. Every year I get to work with, or I get to see students coming international and our students going abroad as well, which we will talk about a little bit later, some of your opportunities. 
When it comes to U Toledo educationally, we are what you call a comprehensive school. So it's not like we just have a handful of programs. We've got over uh, 120. So whatever you're looking to study, whatever you're looking to major in, there's a great chance we have a program for you. Uh, we're probably best known nationally and internationally for our STEM sciences and the health sciences. So anything in engineering and anything really in medicine. That's where we kind of see a lot of our students coming in right now. But we wouldn't carry a major if we didn't fully believe in it. We haven't accumulated 120. 20 majors over the course of 100 plus years, it is every year going in and refining and seeing what is relevant, what do students need, what majors do we need to add, and what just isn't something people are studying anymore. So that kind of stuff always goes into, into how we figure out our programs. But if you choose a major at the University of Toledo, you can know going into it that it is going to be of, high, of the highest quality because, again, we wouldn't carry it if we didn't fully believe in it and believe in the opportunities that we can provide for our students. Uh, if you don't know exactly what you want to major in, that's also fine. You can come to the University of Toledo undeclared or undecided and then figure it out. Uh, I'll say it again, 120 programs. If you don't know right away, I get it, right? There's a lot of options out there. Do you want to do chemistry or biology or biochemistry? What's the difference between all of them? You can come here and in that first semester, in that first year, figure out which is going to be the best path for you. Similarly, it's nice having so many programs because a lot of students will change their major. They'll change their mind once they get to the University of Toledo. Maybe the program they chose wasn't the right fit. Maybe they found something else that is just a little more interesting or engaging or going to lead to the new career they found for themselves. That's also where you want to see so many options. Options. You want to go to a comprehensive school because when you make those changes, when you make those adjustments, you have places you can go. You have 119 other options to choose from. So it's nice to have that flexibility because college is all about growing. It's all about changing and you need a school that's going to grow and change with you. And that is the kind of thing the University of Toledo can do and it does it very well. Uh, another neat thing about the University of Toledo, another reason that I choose to work here, I love working here, is that it's also always been a very access heavy university. So making sure that people have access to a good, high quality education, whether you are a direct from high school student like yourself, if you're an adult learner, if you're looking to get a graduate degree or a PhD, uh, you should have the opportunity to attend a high quality school. So 31% of my students are first generation or first in the family. So if you're a first generation student, or maybe some people in your family went to college, but not everybody, or everybody went to college, you can find that place for yourself here at the University of Toledo, and you can find those paths for yourself as well. Now, we can't get into specific majors very much tonight for obvious reasons. There's a little too much to cover there. But what I can say generally about the University of Toledo educationally is that we have and have always had a very strong commitment to experiential learning, learning by doing. That's what we want to help our students get is not only their diploma, but also to build their resume. It's no secret to anybody that nowadays when you graduate college, employers want to see that you have some skills, that you have some experience underneath your belt already. At the University of Toledo, no matter what you decide to major in, you will find those kinds of opportunities in front of yourself. Uh, if you decide to go into something science-based uh, that is getting involved with undergraduate research here at the University of Toledo, and that's anything science-based. If you go biology, if you go astronomy, if you go engineering, if you go pre-med, um, whatever it might be, the social sciences, psychology, communication, um, having opportunities to work legitimately in research facilities is so exciting. And I say legitimately because it's not clerical work. It's not getting coffee for the researchers. You are a member of the team. You get to be published. You get to add to the overall body of knowledge in whatever field you are researching in. Um, you get to go to conferences in a regular year. You get to go to conferences. You get to present. Um, it's super exciting. And if you want to know about the different research opportunities on campus, Go to the website. A lot of the times we'll make the news here in Toledo, in the state of Ohio, across the Midwest um, for various different research uh, endeavors we have going on. Last year, we were granted about $50 million to carry out over 400 different research endeavors. So there's a lot of great avenues you can go down and a lot of dedicated researchers here at the University of Toledo as well. And you choose to work at the University of Toledo as an educator because you do want the best of both worlds. You choose to work here as an educator because you want to pursue research, you want to be able to grow your own professional career, and you like sharing that with your undergraduate students. Uh, Jasmine and myself last year met with a biology researcher here at the University of Toledo. Jasmine, do you remember going into his office and talking about cells and the way that they're structured? 
we're not scientists, we're communicators, but he was so excited to share it with us. And it was so exciting to hear that he has freshmen and sophomores and juniors and seniors working in his laboratory space on this work that is getting national and international attention. So that is the kind of faculty you can look forward to working with here at the University of Toledo. But maybe you're not going into the sciences and you're like, Ryan, that doesn't apply to me. I want to go get a marketing degree or I want to become a teacher or I want to go into nursing school. That's where we leverage our relationship with companies and hospitals and schools and organizations to get our students good professional development chances. Uh, that means co-ops and internships, it's clinicals, it's rotations, it's student teaching. Whatever your particular career is, we're going to look at the ways that we can help you achieve your goals. And if that is going directly into employment after you graduate, if it's getting into medical school or law school or OT or PT, whatever it might be, we want to make sure you have the skills necessary to be successful. Here are just a couple of the companies that we partner with that you might recognize, you might know the name or the logo of, that are within about three hours of the University of Toledo. This is not an exhaustive list by any means. Uh, you will find students from Toledo going all over the Midwest, all over the country, all over the world, getting that experiential learning done, and we help facilitate it. So our students take advantage of these opportunities because generally we attract very resilient students, students who see these opportunities and take advantage of them, but we can help make it happen. And that is through things like the Career Office on campus, Rocket Connect, Handshake, um, our alumni network here at U Toledo, as well as very, very strong, uh, over 100,000 worldwide alumni. Uh, and that means that our students, again, get those chances, get those opportunities to work on their interviews skills, their resume, they get to go to the job fairs, the career fairs on campus, um, it, whatever, again, that career might be for yourself, let's figure out how can we help you do it. And that means reaching back out to Jasmine and myself and our, and our staff here in the Office of Undergraduate Admission to have these one-on-one -on -one conversations. This isn't a one-on-one -on -one conversation. This is me talking a lot about the University of Toledo for 40 minutes uh, and Jasmine very politely nodding along like she hasn't heard all this a million times. But we want to talk to you and hear about what are your goals, what are you looking for in a college, and how can we figure out if the University of Toledo is the right school for you. One thing I don't want to get overshadowed or have overshadowed are the opportunities for the arts at the University of Toledo. We talk a lot about engineering and medical school and law school, um, but we still have some outstanding arts programs and some really cool ways to be involved in them. Uh, if you decide to go into like the visual arts, you'll actually work over at the Toledo Museum of Art. That's where a lot of our design and drafting spaces are. So you can see a student right there at the museum. Um, that's where you would take a lot of your courses. You would see your professors over there. If you wanna go into the performing arts, if you wanna go into the musical arts, if you wanna go into TV or radio production, uh, film, you can do that as well. They're not just majors and programs here at the University of Toledo. They're also individual courses. So this is a school where you can come and get a degree in engineering and still be in the marching band. You can get a degree in education and still take a drawing class or a painting class, right? So it's about having these opportunities for everybody. So if you're looking for an arts-based program, you can certainly find it here in the College of Arts and Letters. But if you just want to be part of your education, it's not something you want to give up when you go away to school, you can still continue those passions here at the University of Toledo. Now, I talked about this earlier, that we have a big commitment to uh, access to education, making sure students have the ability to go out and, and achieve their academic goals. It's one thing to make sure that the door is open for students and that you can attend the University of Toledo. It's another thing to support those students through that endeavor. And that is also where we really shine, is in these support services, making sure students can get through the challenging parts of their degree. I'm probably not the first person to say this to you, but college is hard. Uh, it is a challenge. And there are going to be some classes that come pretty easy to you. You know how to do them. You know how to get through them. Uh, I'm sure this won't be a big surprise to everybody. I didn't need help with my public speaking class when I was in college. But man, when it came to stats, that's where I really had to buckle down and get some extra help. Everyone has classes like that. And it's important to choose a school where you're going to get the resources. You have the places to go to, to get that kind of assistance. So at the University of Toledo, it comes from your advisors, both your academic advisor and your success 
coach, uh, academic advising. That's nothing specific to the University of Toledo. Most colleges and universities have academic advisors, but your success coach, that is way more specific to the University of Toledo. And their job is to help you much more holistically. So when you come here and you have questions about how to use the public transportation, or you have questions about how to change your meal plan, or, or you don't know where to buy your books or which books to buy for your classes, your success coach is your advocate from day one, just like their name suggests. They're here to help you be successful in whatever questions you might have. Just like how Jasmine and I are here right now to help answer all your questions and connect you to campus, your success coach is that same person, but already here for you at the University of Toledo. So as soon as you start to the day you graduate, you know you have two people in your corner between your success coach and your academic advisor. Things like the Learning Enhancement Center, the TRIO Support Services, Disability Services, the faculty, they are a network of support here for you, right? So they're there when you need them. And again, like I said, sometimes you don't need them. You might have whole semesters where you're killing it and we love to see that. But the semesters where there are more challenges, that's where you need to know where you can go and who you can ask these questions to. And thankfully at the University of Toledo, you have a lot of options. So whoever you want to lean on or comfortable leaning on, you can choose that path here at U Toledo. Having academic support is super important, right? Being successful in the classroom. But then there's kind of the other side of the spectrum and it's being pushed being pushed to do more than you thought you could do, being pushed to go beyond what your personal goals were when it comes to uh, your educational process here at Toledo. And that's where things like the Honors College come into play. So if you wanna make the most of your time, if you want kind of an enhanced educational experience, Look into the honors program here at U Toledo. Uh, it's a great way to build a lot of these soft skills, right? Critical thinking, collaboration, creativity, all that great stuff. Uh, it's a great way to get some more research done, some more professional development opportunities as well, and to use your skills to enact the mission of the University of Toledo. Uh, I've talked about what we like to do. I've talked about things we believe in, but the mission for the University of Toledo is beautifully simple. And that is that we are trying to improve the human condition. That's what we've been trying to do since the late 1800s. And that's what we try to do every day. And I say beautifully simple because improving the human condition can be done by anyone. It doesn't matter what your major or your program is. It doesn't matter which particular career path you're looking at. We can use our skills. We can use our knowledge and we can use our time to improve the life of those of the people around us. And the Honors College is a great way to, to kind of jumpstart that process as an undergraduate student. You take honors level courses. There are some perks to it as well, where you get uh, honors housing, you get to go to your classes first. Uh, and if you meet all the requirements, you finish your honors project, you graduate with a degree with honors. You get a medallion. It's a big achievement. It looks really good on a resume, especially an academic resume. But if you're interested, you can apply as an incoming freshman. It'll be a question on your application uh, about if you'd like to apply for the honors program. If you decide you don't want to do it as an incoming freshman, you can apply as a current student. So you can apply as a sophomore or a, a current freshman here at U Toledo and still be part of the program. But if you have questions, put them in the chat, let Jasmine and myself know, and we're happy to answer those as well. We have focused a lot on the academic side, right? We've talked about class sizes. We've talked about majors and support services and experiential learning. But now it's the other reason people choose the University of Toledo, and that is the incredible community we have here on campus. Uh, I keep saying we're fortunate because we are very fortunate. We're fortunate to have 16,000 very active young people here at the University of Toledo, and it's led to some great opportunities to be involved and to make friends and to get to know people here in the greater Toledo area and on campus. Over 400 different student organizations. Whatever you're looking to do, whatever you're interested in, this is a great chance you can find a group for yourself here at the University of Toledo. You know, if it's student government, if it's a religious organization, a fraternity, a sorority, a political group, a special interest group, you can get involved here on campus. Not only is this stuff super fun, and Jasmine will back me up, it is super fun. It's also a great way to meet people. So if you're coming from further away, maybe you don't know anybody in Toledo, maybe you don't know a single person at the school quite yet, this is a great way in those first couple of weeks to meet people who have similar interests, folks who might become your lifelong best friends, your college friends, you always hear people talking about. Uh, this is a great way to kind of accelerate that process. So if you are a little more introverted, if you're not quite as loud as me right now, uh, we get that. Students like that come to Toledo every year and they make friends 
they find their groove and they find their group and it's through things like these very diverse student organizations on campus. Another great way to meet people at the University of Toledo is through your housing. Uh, so at the University of Toledo, there is a two year housing requirement for the first two years you're required to live on campus if you do not reside within 25 miles of campus. So if you're not a local student, it's two years on and in the latter two years you can choose on or off. It's really up to you. But there are nine different residence halls to choose from. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Some of them are traditional buildings, which is where you have two people to a room and then multiple rooms on a floor and then you share a community restroom. Some of them are suite style where it's like you have a bedroom and a bedroom attached to a living room and a bathroom. Um, some of them are more apartment style. Those are really close to campus as well. Um, so it just depends what you're looking for, the kind of environment you want to live in and what you want to live close to. I will admit something to all of you and Jasmine don't tell our bosses I said this but Toledo can be very cold sometimes it can be a little chilly and windy and so it's good to pick a building near the stuff you want to do so if you want to live near the rec center if that's the most important thing to you then maybe choose a building on that side of campus or if you want to live close to the biology building or the library so that's another way to look at housing we will help you find a roommate if you don't know anybody here um, we have a variety of ways to do that whether it be through our Facebook group for incoming freshmen. The actual housing office has their survey as well. This is a source of a lot of anxiety for my students and for Jasmine students and really all incoming students get, get very anxious about housing. And I understand why. I really do. It wasn't that long ago that we were in college. So I get it. That's why we're here. We're here to help make this a little bit easier for everybody. So please feel free to ask questions about housing, living on campus, and then the city of Toledo as well. Um, this is a city I think that flies under the radar for a lot of people. We're actually the fourth largest city here in the state of Ohio. Uh, we've got 250,000 people uh, going uh, up and down a little bit, a couple thousand people every year, but somewhere in that ballpark. And when you live in a city of that size, you're going to have a lot to do. There's a lot to see. There's a lot of great food to enjoy in the city of Toledo, a lot of great activities. I actually currently live in downtown Toledo. I live right next to that key bank building. I don't think you can see my mouse, but I'm circling it. Uh, I love living downtown. I think it's really fun. There's stuff to do. It's a farmer's market every Saturday. Um, we have two minor league sports teams in the city of Toledo, the Toledo Walleye, which is a hockey team, and the Toledo Mud Hens, which is a baseball team. That is one of my favorite parts, uh, pre-pandemic, I guess, is going to those games because they're so cheap and they're so fun. But this cityscape, this city right here, is about 10 minutes from campus. So if I were to turn my camera and you could see out my window, you would just see neighborhoods. It's much more residential here for the University of Toledo. Um, but we're not far at all from all the shops and all the restaurants, from the mall, and from other major cities. So if you wanted to go to like a big, big city like Detroit or Cleveland or Columbus, um, Detroit's maybe 40 45 minutes away, an hour away. Cleveland's about an hour or 45. Columbus about two and a half hours. Chicago's about four hours. So we're really nestled in the middle of the Midwest, which is great. You get the city like us. You can go to the more rural and rustic areas around the greater Toledo uh, area. And then you can go to those other major cities as well. But definitely worth exploring if you do want to come visit. And right now, we do have visit opportunities for campus. So we've slowly and very safely reopened our visiting program. So you can tour almost any day during the week. Um, I know next week, Veterans Day is on Wednesday, so watch out for that one. But other than that, we're usually open here to help. And we have some larger preview events as well. I believe, and Jasmine, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe the next one that we're really seeing a lot of openings for is November 13th. Yes. All right. Look at that. November 13th is the next one. We have a lot of openings for. Um, we'll have more in December and January. So go to the website utoledo.edu, click visit at the top, and you'll see all of your opportunities from there on out. Um, I do want to ask Jasmine real quick, because I want to get your opinion on this. What is your personal favorite part of the city of Toledo? Because campus is not massive. It's a good size, but the city is really pretty big. So when it comes to things you enjoy doing, what, what's some of your favorites? Well, I'm a very girly girl, so I like going to the mall. There's three different malls around Toledo. So there's the Franklin Park Mall, which has a um, movie theater attached to it. But then there's the Falling Timbers and the Levis Commons Mall. They both also have movie theaters attached to it as well. So if one movie theater is pretty full or they're not showing a time that you're interested in, then you have two other options. So I definitely like that. Like I said before, I recruit 
uh, the Detroit area. So it's really nice that I'm able to get the best of both worlds and be here in this minor city like Toledo, but then being able to go to a major city like Detroit uh, when there's concerts and things going on, of course, um, post <laughs> or or pre-pandemic. Uh, so, but there's still lots of things to do. Um, I usually have an app on my phone, the news app, so the WTOL 11 app, and then usually there's a go 419 of section, and it'll tell you things you can do around Toledo from Thursday to Sunday. So I usually go on there to kind of see what new adventures I could get myself into just exploring the city. So this is a great space to be in if you, you know, want to be in a big city, but also kind of want to be in a small town at the same time. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like I get so used to explaining in the last seven months what there is to do in Toledo. I forget the things I used to do, like the the Toledo or the the Toledo Zoo. It, it, at one point in the last five years, was the number one zoo in the country, uh, which is incredible. Uh, we are the number one city in the United States for our metro park system. It's a system of absolutely beautiful parks, really all over the city as well, and in some of the suburbs. So Perrysburg, Maumee, up in Sylvania. Um, so really, I kind of forget that there is so much. I forgot that we have three malls with three different movie theaters because I haven't been in the mall in like almost a year. So it's been, it's been a little bit. Um, but when you come visit, explore the city and ask us for recommendations. We're always happy to point in the right direction, tell you where to stay, tell you where to go. Um, but really, it's, it's a lot to take in. Now, we've really sold you, I'm sure, on the University of Toledo. So you probably want to know, well, how do I go there? How do I get started? Well, the first thing you have to do is submit your application. This is where we understand that there are going to be a lot of questions because this year has really changed a lot of things about the undergraduate admissions process. Maybe you haven't taken the SAT or the ACT. Maybe on your transcripts, you have a bunch of completes instead of regular grades. Um, we are here to answer those questions. So please always feel comfortable to reach out, ask us, because we want to make it as clear and easy as possible for you to give you your path into the University of Toledo. The first thing is pretty easy, and that's just choosing an application. There are two, the Discover app and the Common app. They're both great. We have no preference over either one. Uh, the Common app is good because you can do one application, and they've partnered with over 800 schools across the United States. So if you're applying to seven or eight or you know four or five schools, it's going to save you time in the long run. But it is a little bit longer of an application, a little more laborious. Um, the Discover app, however, uh, is just for the University of Toledo. You'll find it on our website, utoledo.edu, and then discover.utoledo.edu. Um, and it takes maybe 15 minutes. It's very quick. I will say it's very easy. Um, there's no essay requirement, no letter recommendation to be entered. Um, but it only works for the University of Toledo. So you can see the benefits, the pros, the cons, whichever you choose, that's perfectly fine. The bigger choice you have to make is whether you want to apply traditionally or test optionally. Something I found this year, and Jasmine, I'm sure you found it too, is that schools, a lot of universities uh, are instituting test optional policies and we're all calling them that, but they're all different, which is very confusing. We all call them the same thing, but they all mean different things. So for the University of Toledo, to try and make it easy, you basically have two choices. You can apply test optionally, which means that we will only review you for admission based on your GPA that we take off of your official high school transcripts. We'll do it for admission and financial aid. Both of those things based just on your GPA. So if you have a really strong GPA, then maybe that's a good path for you. If you have a strong GPA and no test score, a good path. Strong GPA and maybe not such good ACT, SAT scores, great path. However, if you do have test scores that you think reflect well on your academic ability, your preparedness, we have the traditional path. And that means that you apply to Toledo traditionally, how we've always done it, which is we look at your GPA and your SAT or ACT scores. No preference, either one is perfectly fine, um, but those are your two paths, test optional and traditional. The best thing to do is to first go to the website, utoledo.edu, and just search admission requirements because you can see the requirements for every program at the University of Toledo. You wanna to get into nursing, awesome. Well, here are the requirements for test optional and traditional. You wanna go into education, great, test optional and traditional, and you can see which path is better for you. You also can do that for your merit scholarship at the University of Toledo. Just go on the website again and look up the scholarship calculator and you can see which one will give you more aid. If you have any questions after you do that research, 
just give us a call. We're here to help. We want to make this as easy for you as we can. We want to make sure that we make the right choice, not only academically, but financially, because we don't want you to leave money on the table. We want you to get the best merit scholarship possible. So please feel free to reach out, uh, whoever you get on staff, me or Jasmine or Taylor or Sam or Johnny or Drew uh, or Scott or Justin. Uh, we're all happy to help. We're, we're here to make this, again, a smooth process. So reach out if you need anything. And that kind of carries us to our last point tonight, and that is Financial aid. Uh, UT Toledo has always had a great reputation for being a cost effective school, being a school that is very competitive when it comes to how much it costs to go here and being competitive when it comes to uh, the amount of aid students get when they uh, first enroll and the opportunities for aid as they go through. So first is the cost, right? Ballpark in these numbers a little bit because I don't know your particular program or where you're going to live. We're looking at about $10,500 in tuition for a year and about $10,000 for room and board for the year. Room and board being your residence hall, your meal plan, that kind of stuff. So that's about $20,500, $21,000. The first thing you need to know is in that yellow box, and that's the Toledo tuition guarantee. Tuition is locked in for all four years. It's not going to rise. And if that's not exciting to you, I want you to know that some schools will raise tuition by one or two or 3%. And if tuition is 10 grand, 2% is a healthy raise over the course of four years. So our tuition is locked in. You know what it's going to be. It's consistent. Our housing is locked in for two years. But again, it's only a two-year housing requirement. So we know the numbers we're working on, right? We have some fixed numbers that we can base our expectations for the cost of our education. The first thing we'll look at is the FAFSA, which is the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. It is a must. You don't have to do it, but we recommend that you do it, especially if you've never done it before or no one in your family has done it before, because we need to figure out, are you eligible for any federal, state, or institutional grants. Grants are just like scholarships. A lot of people will use those words interchangeably, grants and scholarships. Um, they're both awards that you don't have to pay back. Generally speaking, scholarships are known as merit-based awards. So maybe you're a great athlete or you wrote a great essay or you have really good grades. A grant usually is need-based, something based on the FAFSA, demonstrated financial need. Um, again, they can be used interchangeably. It's not a big deal, but just so you know the difference um, loans, you have to pay back, obviously. Um, that is borrowed money. But the FAFSA will give you access to the Stafford loan, which is usually around $5,500 for students. Um, if you're going to take out student loans, that is where I would start because, and again, you don't have to do this, that is just one of the more competitive loans when it comes to lower interest rate and a little more forgiving on when you start to pay them back. But we are here to answer these questions for you specifically. So again, reach out if you'd like to know more. Then we have things like the Merit Scholarship, which I talked about a little bit ago. That is an award that you are automatically considered for at the University of Toledo as long as you apply before December 1st. And if your grades and SAT or ACT score are up to snuff, you'll get anywhere from $1,000 to $6,000 a year, every year for four years automatically renewing. So it's an award that you get annually, which is awesome. $1,000 every year for four years, or maybe $5,000 every year for four years. We can figure out what your merit scholarship would be even before you ever apply. And all you need to do is keep your GPA in school above a 2.75. And we've already talked about all the support services here and your success coach and your academic advisor. Jasmine and I have no doubt that you can stay above that bar and keep that merit scholarship all four years. Then you have things like the president's scholarship. That's the full ride at the university. University of Toledo, full tuition, full room and board, and a $3,000 summer research stipend. As you can imagine, pretty competitive. The deadline for that one is you have to apply by December 1st, so you need to get admitted as soon as possible If you, because you can only apply after you're accepted. So if you're thinking president scholarship, make sure you apply or get admitted here in the next two weeks or so. Uh, and then we have Levis Leadership. Um, earlier, I talked about the honors program. Levis Leadership, also a great way to build your skills specifically as a leader over the course of four years. There is a scholarship tied to it as well. So a really neat program to look into. Um, the Student Financial Aid General Scholarship and the College and Program Specific Scholarships. The Student Financial Aid General Scholarship is one application for over 80 awards at the University of Toledo. So you do one scholarship application and it auto applies you for all these different awards at the University of Toledo. That's also one you can't do until you're admitted, but you have some time to turn it in. It's usually not due until the spring. Jasmine, was it February last year that it was due? It's actually extended to March 15th. So Even better. 
Yeah, even better. <laughs> Look at that. So make sure, again, first getting admitted and then doing this kind of scholarship application because, again, one application for over 80 awards, definitely nice when you look at time spent versus possible money earned. And then your college and program specific scholarships. That depends on your major. So if you decide to go into uh, engineering, they'll have different scholarships than the College of Natural Science and Mathematics or the College of Pharmacy or the College of Education. So go on the website and do your research. But the important thing to know is that you can do this kind of stuff every year. Other than the merit and president scholarship, these college scholarships, the general scholarship, uh, this sort of stuff you can do every year. And again, we know the cost. It's fixed. We have that guarantee in place, but you can always earn more in aid. And that's why U Toledo, when you look at both of these numbers against each other, is always the best when it comes to lowest total student debt after graduation and highest average starting salary after graduation as well. Our, our students incur some of the least amount of debt and have some of the best wages because they know their cost, they take advantage of their financial aid opportunities and they do the most with their time, right? I talked about all this great stuff we have to offer, all the professional development, all the career opportunities, the educational opportunities, the personal growth opportunities, they're here for you. And if you choose the University of Toledo, I'm confident you're choosing a school that's gonna help you grow. It's gonna give you that true college experience. It's gonna take you on to whatever those professional goals you might have for yourself are. And if you'd like to know specifically how that's gonna happen, reach out. That's my specific email address and my phone number. I probably should have put the office one on there, but here we are. Reach out to me. Ask me questions. I'm happy to help. Um, follow us on social media. Another great way to see our campus and learn about it. If you're interested now in Toledo and you weren't at the beginning, you can scan that QR code right there and we can still stay in touch. We can get you more information about the school. Um, that just about does it as far as the presentation goes. Uh, if anybody has any questions, anything they want Jasmine and I to talk about, please feel free still to put it there in the chat. Uh, we are happy to go over whatever it is you're looking for uh, as far as your, your possible college or university. So Jasmine, have we had any questions that we can talk about or, or go over for everybody? There have been no questions, Ryan. You've covered everything. <laughs> Guys, I am flattered. I really am. But I'm, I, I'm guessing you have some questions about the school, right? There's got to be some specific stuff you want to know about the University of Toledo. Uh, I, I am, am, am hopeful that I did cover all the big stuff for you. Um, but those specific questions are important because, again, everyone chooses schools for different reasons. Uh, I chose my college that I went to because of the marching band. So everyone's kind of looking for different stuff out of their possible school. Uh, Jasmine, was there anything you wanted to add? Anything else about the university as a whole you think worth saying? Um, I think there's really great transportation opportunities, something that I usually get asked from all my students or can I have my car on campus my freshman year because I'll believe it or not, there are some universities that don't allow freshmen to bring their car. So if you are a driver and you want to make sure you bring your wheels with you when you come to campus, you are allowed to have your car on campus your freshman year. If you don't have wheels yet and you still want to come to campus and you want to explore Toledo um, and you still want to catch a ride somewhere, we have a great public busing system called TARDA. And as a U Toledo student, you are able to go on that bus for free. All you have to do is just show your student ID card and then you're able to get around wherever you want to go. Take you to all three malls, take you to all the parks downtown. So wherever you want to go, the bus will take you. Also, if you want to have some fun on campus, we do have kayaks on campus too because the Audible River does flow through our campus. So if you want to go kayak racing with your friends, or if you want to um, ride around campus with our Lime scooters or one of our bikes, you're more than welcome to do that as well. We have all types of wheels and transportation on the campus. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned the movie theaters because I hadn't thought about that in a while, but there was a time where I would be like, oh, it's showing at seven. I kind of want to go at 7.15 and I would just look at the other two theaters that we have right around the city. And so it's stuff like that. I mean, where else can you possibly find that in a college? I mean, maybe Columbus, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know who else has three movie theaters around their campus. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that might be good to know. I guess I should throw this out there as well. Um, hopefully by the time you all enroll at the University of Toledo, we will be back to a little bit more normal of a world, um, but we have had a successful reopening of the university here in the fall of 2020. 
And I will give all the credit to not just the, the, the people who organized opening campus on the staff and faculty side, but the students who took really seriously wanting to be here and wanting it to be a safe place for everyone who enrolled at the University of Toledo. So making sure that we've had as few number of cases as possible, a safe re-entry onto the university's campus. Um, the spring is looking good. Hopefully we'll be back again for classes and living in the residence halls. But by the fall of 2021, I. Look, I can't tell you what's going to happen in a month, let alone in the fall of 2021, but hopefully we are back to a regular, regular world to some degree. You can come to orientation, but we always have our student safety in mind. So making sure that we are being adaptive to the world that we live in is, is super important. Yeah, in our student life office, they're doing a really great job this semester with getting students engaged, even though we are in the middle of a pandemic and we're not really allowed to have those huge gatherings um, like football games with all of the fans coming in or um, having those big, huge talent shows in the beginning of the semester to kind of welcome the, the freshmen. But we are still doing virtual um, events, and that's been a lot of fun, too. Um, so some people in the office had volunteered with the Student Life Office and we did a trivia night based off certain uh, movie series. So that was a lot of fun and the winners received some gift cards to like um, Starbucks and Netflix and places like that. So um, we are still doing what we can do for students to make sure that they're still being engaged with their peers, but virtually. So it's still a lot of fun. People are still on campus. Um, the resident assistants, the RAs, they're still putting on events for um, the people on their floor to make sure that you're still getting the traditional college experience. Um, so definitely come to the University of Toledo to check us out. Like Ryan did say, we are open for visits. So if you want to come visit us Monday through Friday and also like Saturdays, you're more than welcome to come knock on our door and see what campus is like. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not originally from Toledo, and I don't think, Jasmine, you're not from Toledo either. I, I grew up in Southern Ohio, uh, Zanesville. So if anyone watched the show Tiger King, we were famous again on that show as the town where all those animals escaped. That's what's brought us back in the national spotlight. But I didn't know Toledo was a city in Ohio until I was 18 years old. That's not a joke. I didn't know about Northern Ohio. I knew Columbus and Cincinnati and maybe Cleveland. But um, I interviewed for this job, you know, two and a half years ago, and I cannot tell you how pretty this campus is in person. Because I had done research, I'd looked at you know maps and pictures and, and prepared for my interview. Um, but when I got here, it's really something you have to see to believe. And I think that's echoed in like every person who visits campus. When they're done, they're like, I can't believe how pretty it is. It's really, really gorgeous. Um, especially right now before it gets too cold uh, is definitely the time to see it. So if you're thinking of giving us a visit um, now, great. But if you have any apprehension about coming to campus, we also respect that. We get that too. And we can be accommodating. So if you want to do the virtual stuff, if you want to set up one-on-one -on -one meetings with us as well, um, that's also perfectly fine. And then maybe we can get you on campus later in the spring or over the summer next year. So um, whatever you're comfortable doing, we want to be as adaptive and flexible as possible uh, to, to meet your, your, uh, your search needs, whatever you're looking for in your, in your particular college or university. But I think we have only three minutes left. So if someone was wanting to ask a question, but they didn't want to do it with too much time left, here is your last opportunity to get them in. Um, I think I'll finish up by letting everybody know, or not finish up, but I think I'll remind everybody one more time about the application. Um, the deadline for our merit scholarship is December 1st. So you have to have submitted an application by December 1st to be considered for that merit scholarship. And I'm telling you, as far as easy awards to go after, that one's automatic on admission. You'll be considered for it. And this counts as a University of Toledo admissions event. So all of you are actually eligible for a free application. So if you'd like the application waiver, just send me an email and say, hey, I was at your event uh, with you and Jasmine. Uh, I wish she did more talking and you didn't talk quite as much. But uh, if I could please have the code to get an application, I appreciate it. You can make it shorter than that. But if you'd like to apply, please let me know and we can definitely make it happen, um, hopefully sooner rather than later, because I don't know if you've noticed this, 2020 is almost over, mercifully, but uh, we are almost till the end. And I don't want you to miss out on those kinds of easier scholarships, um, because eventually we'll start doing actual applications for awards, and those are a little more time consuming. Um, Jasmine, real quick, last thought. Uh, 
let's get your piece of advice to someone doing the college search. I got mine if you want me to go first. Um, just general piece of advice, even if it's not Toledo, where students should look. It was unfair to ask you to go first. I'll go first so you can think about it. Uh, my piece of advice to students who are looking on where to enroll in a school is to talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. These presentations are great, but especially nowadays that we can schedule these virtual meetings and we have our phones next to us all day, we're not traveling, get to know us a little bit more, right? Ask questions that are specific to your experience because there's a good chance that we can help you. And if we can't help you, we know people on campus who can. You know, when I have students who call in and want to know more about the cosmetic science and formulation program, again, not a scientist, but I'm happy to send them over to our folks in pharmacy who will share all their knowledge. So get to know us, the admissions people, and ask us to connect you with people on campus, or you can go out and ask them as well. They're very nice. They're very friendly. They wouldn't work here if they weren't. So that's my best advice on the college search. Ask those questions. Get those meetings. Jasmine, how about you? I definitely agree with you, Ryan. Um, for me, I think it would be really talking to a current student. Um, when I went on my college search, I went to a small school in Kentucky and I went on a campus tour and one of the tour guides was a current student. So when I was able to uh, pull them aside and just kind of ask them one on one, like, how do you like the university? What has the university done for you since you've been here? They gave me true and honest answers and as I kept doing my research I decided that this was the best place for me well I didn't go to the University of Toledo like I said with small school in Kentucky but that school was the best place for me um, I also believe that you all should definitely make a, a short list and a long list and kind of just decide what are the things like what would be the perfect college like it has to be in the south or it has to be in the north it has to have this thing or it has to have that thing there's a college out there that has all of those things for you. So you just want to make sure you have all those lists of requirements and then just start checking off the list. Does, you know, the area have great, you know, landscaping? Toledo has that. Does it have a great area where you're able to go to different places like Detroit and Columbus and Cincinnati? Toledo has that. You want to be in a space where you're able to go rock climbing and slide in a water slide. Our rec center does have that. So you definitely want to make sure that you put together a list of things that you want and just see what schools out there has everything. And if the school has everything for you, then that's probably the school for you. So definitely check us all out <laughs> and um, good luck on your college search. Yes, thank you everybody for joining us, for, for sitting here with Jasmine and I. Again, we're here to help. Feel free to reach out about the application, about financial aid, visiting campus, exploring the University of Toledo. Uh, with that being said, we will sign off for the evening. We hope to see you on campus, but no matter what, enjoy the rest of your senior year, stay healthy, uh, and hopefully soon you will be saying, Go Rockets! All right, thank you. Uh, just as a few quick reminders for everyone, uh, there will be a quick survey after you click the exit button. If you wouldn't mind providing that information, we'd be appreciative of that. If you'd like to sign up for additional sessions, you can do so at oacac.org. And as a final reminder, a recording of this session will be available at oacac.org in about one week. Uh, with that, we hope you have a great